We are set for our next bout here in the Glory 416 World Series. David Kidia of Georgia against Thailand's Kem Sitsong Pinong, one of the top Muay Thai fighters now looking for glory in this tournament. Four-year-old David Kiria representing Golden Glory, a 2009 European champion in Kyokushin Karate. We'll have to watch out for that Mawashigeri, the round kick. Yeah, exactly. He comes from Team Schultz, but I doubt he does a lot of hard sparring with Semi. Based in the Netherlands, Semi Schultz, of course, coming up in the main event, will battle Errol Zimmerman for the vacant Glory heavyweight title. He likes to fight at a very high pace, wants to be aggressive, doesn't mind getting into brawls. Entering the ring from the red corner, Kem Sitsong Penong. It is on very rare occasion that we get to see a Muay Thai fighter at the very top of his game make the crossover into kickboxing. And Stephen, you, of course, the fight professor for a reason. You've covered all aspects of combat sports. And very often people, well, they, they kind of uh, confuse the two sports. There are differences between Muay Thai and kickboxing. There really are. When you add the elbows, when you add the clinch and the neck wrestling and then the knees, that's a completely different sport. And that's one that you better be ready for. This man has so many fights, 129 fights. Sit Song Pinong is a legend in Thailand and for a good reason. He's got so many titles over there. A ring general doesn't mind being flashy on occasion. Great elbows, which won't come into play here tonight. But he's also got a really nasty teep kick to the leg, which is very tricky. 2009 WMC Muay Thai World Champion, a 2011 Thai Fight Tournament Champion, giving up those clinch and elbow techniques, but really putting it all on the line here as he represents the king of all martial arts, the science of the eight limbs. From Thailand, Kim Sitsong Pinong is one of the first 16 here at the Glory World Series. We come to you from the annex in Stockholm, Sweden, wherever you may be watching around the world on GloryWorldSeries.com, the Fight Network in Canada, Fight Now TV in the U.S. We hope you're enjoying the action. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He is 24 years of age, weighed in at 69.5 kilograms. He stands 170 centimeters. He has a fighting record of 44 fights and eight losses. His titles include the 2000 European champion Kuyu Kushinkai Karate. He is fighting out of Zubdidi, Georgia, representing the Golden Glory, David Kriya! His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is 27 years of age, weighing in at 68.8 kilograms. He stands 173 centimeters with a fighting record of 136 fights, 21 losses. Titles includes 2011 Thai Fight Tournament Champion, 2009 WMC Muay Thai World Champion, 2007 Raja Damnern Stadium Champion, Fighting out of Mahasagaram, Thailand, representing Sitsong Penong, Kim Sitsong Penong! <laughs> the referee refereeing this fight is Frederick Johnson. 
Frederick Jonsson, the referee. Listen to my giving command final at all instructions. Like you. And we are set for the next bout here in the Glory First 16. 16 of the very best stand up fighters in the 70 kilogram or 154 pound weight class. Taking over from the K1 World Max left off. An amazing aggregation of talent. We are underway with the first round. Kem sits on Pinong in the red. Uh, David Kiria fighting out of the blue corner. Sitsong Pinam came right out with a right front kick to the face. Kiria coming off a loss to Nikki Holtzkin, who we're going to see later tonight in super fight action. That was back in March of this year in Moscow, Russia, while Kem Sitsong Pinong is coming off a TKO win in the first round in France over Michael Kornabek. Sitsong Pinong is definitely familiar with a couple of gentlemen in this tournament. Giorgio Petrosian, he lost a very tight decision to, and he beat Fabio Pinka, who had a win here earlier by decision two times. Sitsong Pinong would like to take advantage of that reach, his powerful jab, and the knee lifts, of course, which are allowed here in the Glory World Series. With the background of Muay Thai right now, Kiria pressing the action. One adjustment Sitsong Pinang had to make was that uh, Thai fights, traditionally, the first two rounds are throwaways. Yes. They get busy on this set, that third and fourth round, and then uh, they coast in the, fourth, in the fifth round. But this one he knows, especially when he's facing a guy from Team Show, this guy might just try and jump on me. Mm. Lots of power behind those round kicks delivered by Sitsong Pinang. Countered with a left body kick by Kyokushin Karate practitioner David Kiria. Ooh, jab catches Kiria on the proboscis. So many debates over the years. What style is best? Kyokushin Kai, Muay Thai, this, that. It comes up to the individual. And at this level, you gotta know everything. Absolutely. Kiria with the combination, but. High guard by Sitsung Pinong in the final minute of the opening round. Oh! Head kick knocks down Sitsung Pinong. Wow, the Hawashi Gandhi finds the target. Mamma Mia, what a strike. Here's some karate for you. Jeez, and a push kick. And Kiria now smelling the blood, pouncing on Sitsung Pinong in the corner, unloading in the final 35 seconds of the round. It's a national. Oh, and there's an axe kick. Axe kick. I gotta love it. The ghost of Andy Hook. It's a pride thing. Let's say. Wow. Yeah, but speaking of pride. Sitsong Pinong is a guy who represents Muay Thai. His country sport just got knocked down by a karate kick. Again, 10 point must system. And there's a spinning hook kick by Kiria, but blocked by Sitsong Pinong. But a great opening round for David Kiria knocking down his opponent. 10 8 round. David Kiria got things done with the head kick. Took that round 10 8. Putting Sitsong Pinong behind the score by two. Keep also your breath. Keep, keep the hooks. Keep. Good jab. A lot of patience by both fighters, but it was almost a crescent kick. Yes. It was it was a roundhouse kick, but he didn't even turn his hip over. That one he turned his hip over, tried to load oh. up. The axe kick didn't do much, but nonetheless, if you're slapping another guy and he doesn't slap you back, you're scoring. Curio with the cavalcade of great kicks in the opening round. That left kick to the head. All three judges giving it to Curia 10-8 as they should. Mirko Krokop preparing for his return to K1 in Madrid, Spain. Had to be happy with that one. Second round underway here at the Annex in Stockholm, Sweden. A quick start for Sitsong Pinong. Knowing he's behind on the scorecard by he really two does. points. He, he's got to go out and do some damage. And one area that the Thais have always been great at doing damage at, against karate stylists is by the low kick and chopping up their legs and getting them to stop moving around so much. Step up knee by Sitsong Pinong, followed up with a right body kick by the Thai fighter. And he is definitely off to a better start here in round two, pushing the action against David Kiria. 
There's the low kick. That's going to be the, his weapon of choice. Here we go with the overhand right that scores. Right body kick from Sitsan Pinon. Back and forth we go here. Beginning of the second round. Staying in the center of the ring. The teeth there pushes Kiria back momentarily. Comes back with a left and there's a right uppercut through the guard. That left high kick yeah. of Kiria is, like, that's wicked, that's fast. It's, no, it's got no setup, he just throws it. Right uppercut, oh, they exchange uppercuts at close quarters. Nice three-punch combination from Kiria. Seats on Pinon with the leg kick. Now he throws a three-punch combination, punctuated by the low leg kick. Great action here to kick off glory for 16. Which of these fighters is going to join Semshi Bakuri, Tim Thomas, and Robin Van Rosmalen in the final eight? There's a back and forth rhythm to a Muay Thai fight, but that is not what Sitsong Pinang needs right here. He needs to take advantage of this fight, take this fight over, and do some damage. The back and forth thing is not going to work. Oh, there's that axe kick again from Kyria, jumping knee with less than a minute remaining. The Thai fighter again going into his Muay Thai bag of tricks. Frederick Janssen calls for the break. There's that Thai plum momentarily in the knee strike. And again, a lot one offensive maneuver. The team from Kyria saying, hey, I know a thing or two about Muay Thai. Kind of quick uh, restart yeah, there. Yeah, I agree the with you. And we see it throughout the, the tournament. but. We were told they'd be allowed three seconds in the clinch. That may not have be the case. Oh, good combination there. As Curia gets it on the jaw. Yeah, three seconds is enough time to land the bomb. Mm -hmm. Final 25 seconds of the round. Better round for Sitsong Pinong after being dropped in the opening round. That's absolutely right. But scoring points is not what he needs here. He needs to do a lot of damage. And he, and he really needs to drop and get his own knockdown. Otherwise, he's going to be one behind going into the third. David Kiria, Kem Sitsong Pinong are going to see round three. Kem Sitsong Pinong jumped back into this fight in a big way. A lot of aggression, good punches, good low kicks. Outscored his opponent, David Kiria. So I got this fight tied up. One point, though. 10-8 round the opener. That's right. Thank you. Just call that brain damage. No worries. Here's the action, my man. Oh, here it is. Sitsong Pinong shielding well and blasting back with low kicks, and that's exactly what he needs to do. Chop away at those legs. Good uppercut on the inside. Sitsong Pinong always ends the flurries with a low kick, and that's really a wise... Round three about to begin here at the Annex in Stockholm, Sweden. All three judges agreeing with the fight professor, giving that second round to the Thai fighter who still trails, though, after the 10-8 opening round for David Kiria. And again, should Sitsong Pinong win the third 10-9, we would go to an extra round. There's one extra round allowed in the glory first 16 tournament, and he starts the round aggressively. He's throwing everything he's got into that right low kick, and that's what he should do. It's what he must do. Sitsong Pinong taking advantage as much as possible from the Thai clinch. Again, wanting to execute some offense in the clinch that he's used to in his Muay Thai. Kiria popped him back with a kick. Kiria loads the right. There's a knee to the belly by Sitsong Pinong, and Frederick Janssen again breaking them up. Kiria with an uppercut. Push kick. There's the low kick again. And the 1,001, 1,002. <laughs> Not three. No, it wasn't three. It, it, it's, it's definitely hurting uh, the TIE fighter because give him three seconds and he can't land a good shot to the ribs or the head. Yeah. 
think that uh, rule has been thrown out the window here in the Glory for 16, but in any event, Sid Sarpinong walking down Kiria, knee to the ribcage, another knee to the other side of the ribcage. And Kiria comes back with that combination block, but manages to graze the chin with that short right uppercut. That's one of the weapons when you get plumb clinched, throw the uppercut and keep your head up. Don't keep it down. Now an exchange of kicks here with a minute and a half left in the fight. Sit Song Pinong doing the more punishment and doing the more damage here in round number three. We're going to overtime, I think. Oh, Kiri up still with a minute 15 to try to take the round. And oh. there, short uppercut and a left uppercut will help him do just that. So Kyria now beginning to find his rhythm and range again. Another right uppercut as Sitsong Pinong walks straight forward but doesn't deliver an offensive blow of his own and get caught with two. So Kyria beginning to take the fight back here. He really is, and that left hook landed as well. Problem with the stiff arm shields to block the outside kicks as you're wide open for the uppercut. Yes, Sitsong Pinong with a porous guard. Those uppercuts finding their home. Referee Frederick Janssen calling for the break in the final 42 seconds. Push kick from Kyria comes up. Another right uppercut. Can he squeeze this out? He was getting punished for at least three, three and a half minutes. Now he's landing. Kyria doing a much better job in the final minute of this fight. Won the opening round, 10-8. Lost the second round, 10-9. And here we go into the final seconds of the fight. Who is going to emerge victorious and into the final eight of the Glory World Series? A lot David Curia or Kem Sitsong Pinong? A lot of curious punches are being blocked here. But he's putting pressure. We're going to the judges' scorecards. Kyria had a great rally there for the last minute, but I still think that Sitsong Pinong won the round. This fight is a tie. They've got to go to overtime. Beautiful front kick by Kyria. Rocked the head of the tie back, blasting away with low kicks. Both men landing there in that exchange. But that uppercut was the weapon of choice from both the right and the left for Kyria. That push kick right on the button, it was more of a score thing. It was going to be a knockout like Anderson Silva did against Vitor Belfort. There's that uppercut again and again. Could it have been the one that won in the round? If Kerry won that round, he wins the fight. I'm thinking not. I'm going to sit here with you, Stephen, instead of making my way up to the ring just now. We'll wait for the official decision. We could be going to an extra round, so let me just uh, be on standby here. Standby. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both fighters in the ring here tonight. We have a unanimous decision, and this fighter is advancing to the final eight. The winner, by unanimous decision of three points, Blue Corner, David Kira! That has got to be the biggest win of his career. Beating a legend from Thailand, knocking him down, dominating the fight. Huge win for David Kiria. One more time, fans, let's hear it for the fighter from Thailand, Kim Sitsong Pinong, who did a great accounting of his skills here, but your winner, David Kirion. David, first of all, would you consider that one of the biggest wins of your career? Uh. We'll let you grab your breath here. I know it's a big, a hard-fought victory. I'm happy now because this fight was for me. My opponent was hard for opponent, but I done it. And I would say thank you very much, Dave Youngers, Horio de Losco, Bacho Barzoni. Was, I'm happy to win. I, prep, I will start preparing for next one. Next. What about the knockdown in that opening round? You landed the left round kick. Uh, your kicks were, were very, very effective for you in this fight. Yeah, I did it, but I could not uh, knock out this round, but I'm, I win and I'm happy. Hoss, thank you. All right, let's hear it, Sweden, for your winner, David Kidia. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an all-American battle Kuzma. next in the glory Michael first 16 Kai. as Michael Corley meets Kai Hollenbeck.
Michael Corley fighting out of Houston, Texas, representing a ring certified. Coming off a loss to Marco Pique, one of the uh, top fighters in his uh, discipline, and really just wanting to uh, show the folks back home that, you know, kickboxing is a viable sport as well. We know the North America in love with MMA right now, but uh, there are some great kickboxers as well. Michael Corley, just 27 years of age, 26 fights on his resume. Versatile and well-rounded Muay Thai technique. Corley can punch, kick, knee, and elbow very well. International experience. And he's aggressive, and he won't let his opponent get set. 2005 Golden Gloves boxing winner. He's often competed under full Thai rules, but here at Glory, no club, elbows. Kai Hollenbeck. Here's a look at Kai Hollenbeck. World Team USA, a WMC Intercontinental Super Middleweight Champion. He was also the 2011 WBC Intercontinental World Champion. I've uh, had the opportunity to call his Muay Thai fights. He's wearing the Mong Khan, wearing the Muay Thai uh, fighting shorts as well. A up and comer, losing to Nikki Holtzkin in the Muay Thai Premier League event in November of last year. I also watched him defeat Jordan Watson in another MPL event in Padova, Italy. And those losses really motivated him to just go out there and get aggressive. Don't go out, go out there and pick and move around and pick and move around. Just go out there and try to blow the guy away. A veteran of over 30 fights from California, Kai Hollenbeck. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to fight number five in this glory first 16. Fighting first from the blue corner. He is 27 years of age, weighing in at 69.8 kilograms. He stands 183 centimeters with a fighting record of 26 fights, 16 wins. He fights out of Houston, Texas, USA, representing ring certified, Michael Collins! Sure. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is 24 years of age. Weighing in at 69.9 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters with a fighting record of 39 fights, 37 wins, and one loss. He is the WMC Intercontinental Super Middleweight Champion, WCK Intercontinental Middleweight Champion, and also 2011 WBC Intercontinental World Champion. Fighting out of San Bruno, USA, representing World Team USA, Kai Hollenbeck! So Kai Hollenbeck's lone professional loss coming to Nikki Holtzkin. You will see Nikki Holtzkin in action later tonight as he will fight in a super fight against Alex Harris from Sweden. And Corley with a quick start with the jab. Corley in the blue tape around his wrist and Hollenbeck fighting out of the red corner. The battle of the USA here in Sweden. Oh, he got oh, rocked. Corley got rocked with that right hook and the jab and the referee comes in. And... One, two, frozen. Three, yeah, standing eight count. Four, frozen five, in his tracks. Six, so seven, quick right eight, hook five, and five, four standing eight five, counts five, over the course of the fight, five, and the fight will be stopped. And Hollenbeck, I'm sure, wants to pounce on Corley as quickly as possible. That right hand has been such an effective weapon thus far. Why not throw it again? And 
Hollenbeck all over Corley like a bad rash, and the referee has stopped the fight. It is over for Michael Corley. Kai Hollenbeck picking up the first round technical knockout in very quick fashion. Always safety of the fighter is first. Rather stop the fight one punch too soon than one punch too quick. Yeah, that's true. And too late. Corley is puzzled. Probably doesn't agree with that stoppage. He was getting lit up, though. Just a matter of time. He still looks uh, confused, about as confused as a newborn baby in a topless bar there, Steve, Stephen, as uh, Kai Hollenbeck makes short work of Michael Corley. The problem is you got to defend against punches. We don't want to see people get that hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, after 46 seconds into the first round, the referee stops the fight, declaring the winner, red corner, Kai Hollenbeck! So, referee Yopia Ubada stops the fight at 46 seconds. Kai, congratulations on the win. And obviously, it's always better to, to stop a fight one punch, uh, you know, early than one punch too late. What do you think of your performance tonight? 46 seconds worth of action here. Uh, I feel good. Um, I, I wish it would have gone a little bit longer. I think it got stopped a little too soon, but I mean, it's good. I, he's, we're friends. We're friends outside of the ring, so I'm glad. No, he's not hurt, and well, I'm not hurt, so. Just uh, glad. <laughs> what about representing the USA, where, let's face it, MMA, really uh, uh, a big sport there, but you are, of course, uh, waving the flag of kickboxing. How does it feel to be in the final eight of the Glory World Series? Feels good, man. I'm gonna show uh, everybody that America is someone to be reckoned with. And what do you think the key is for you to, to win this whole thing going into the final eight? What kind of style are you gonna bring uh, in the next round? Same, same kind of style, that fast-paced, uh, reckless abandon, because I got nothing to lose. All these guys are a lot higher level than me, supposedly, so it's uh, my chance to just go out and have fun. All right, congratulations from the United States of America, your winner, Kai Hollenbeck. And Kai Hollenbeck finds that aggression works to a T here tonight against Corley.